Dr. Greta here. Fourth of July is coming and we want you to have a great time celebrating our country, but we also want you to keep it safe. So we want to give you a little bit of a heads up and in fact, go online, find some other things out specifically for the age of your kids. This particular thing, the fireworks injuries, comes from an offering by Consumer Product Safety Commission, www.cpsc.gov. And they give statistics for injuries from about 2020, I believe. They also give you some ideas and tips as to how to keep things safe. Probably one of the most important things is don't have kids doing their own fireworks on their own. They really do need to be supervised. At what ages were a lot of the injuries? Well, this bar here shows this large pink thing there, and that's the 25 to 44 age range. Those are the parents of our kids. Those are the people that had the most injuries. But all of these others are the kids, and they, in general, have higher injuries if you take the total. So what types of injuries are there? Well, sparklers are a big thing, and firecrackers. Now, those two things, often people think, oh, well, kids ought to be able to do it. There shouldn't be any big deal. Well, sparklers get up to over a 1,000 degrees, and so you have your little kids playing around, having a lot of fun, and bang, some of these sparks get somewhere on their skin. Scares them to death and it hurts. Now we're going to drop it. Maybe we're going to drop it somewhere where we'll step on it. I mean, there's just no end. Eyes are a huge thing. Ears, especially when we get down to the firecrackers. And so there's always more injuries than we think. This particular thing and some of the other offerings on the internet will tell you that you never relight anything. If something doesn't go off, if it fizzes, you leave it alone. And you need to have a bucket and a hose ready so that whenever there's anything that isn't good, you always are able to douse it because sometimes things seem to be out, but they really aren't. So the important thing is to keep it safe. Be sure that you, there's good supervision. You never do things when there's a lot of wind or when people are distracted. So do enjoy the 4th of July and make it safe for your family. Give that kid a hug.